What up, guys? Welcome back to the show. I am your host, Dante. We are back with another video. And as we all know, well, in case you guys don't know, I'm going to say it anyway. Stellar Blade drops in about four days from now. And these so-called game journalists, journalists, whatever you want to call them, are still crying about the game in their dark, pathetic corners because of the very attractive protagonist, Eve from the game because apparently this game only appeals or mostly appeals to the evil male gaze <laughs> <laughs> this article from inverse still a blade and the male gaze attractive to who men shut up <laughs> stupid questions you already answered the question is it says to the male gaze and attractive to who Obviously, according to you dumb, mo, you dumb niggas, to men, right? <laughs> Goes on to say, right? These guys are still crying about it. Still crying. The game's gonna drop, and the best part about it is that the game's gonna be uncensored everywhere. So y'all gonna cry some more, and I can't wait to taste your delicious tears. Okay. Stellar Blade, the upcoming sci-fi action RPG from Korean studio Shift Up, has been thrust into the center of video game culture wars that seem as old as gaming itself. The fight can be most clearly seen of late in the vocal pushback against narrative consulting company Sweet Baby Inc. for pushing to have more gasp, diverse female characters. A select few Steam and Twitter users are up in arms. Now these vocal few are praising the buxom and balancey protagonists of Stellar Blade. Eve, they say, evokes a time they miss when women in games used to be uh, titillating and attractive. She caters to the so-called battle gaze. <laughs> Listen, the guys we're worrying about are the super progressive morons who just hate the fact that this chick appeals to men. Okay, let's just keep it a buck, okay? You know how I know this? Because, like I said before, and I'm gonna say it again, all right? They did this same crap when Bayonetta first dropped. They came after us. And then when all of a sudden Bayonetta became an LGBTQ supposed icon, that's when they try to flip the script and like, oh wait, she's an LGBTQ icon. It's okay now. The god male gets is not welcomed here because she's not for the males. She's for the LGBTs. <laughs> I guarantee y'all. Now listen, listen to me. Listen to me. I guarantee y'all, right, that if Eve and the female cast of this game were part of the LGBT community and she wasn't designed to appease the male gaze but uh, designed to really be for the opposite people whatever they are the LGBs I guarantee you there wouldn't be as much controversy about this I guarantee it <laughs> anyway you've got a clip that is circulating in Twitter and these gamers have come out to say nah this is bad ass as hell let's go over to Twitter right the clip is going viral right now on twitter it's dope these girls are, are reacting to the game and they're showing us that we have allies out there right I, I, i've been apart from vera who has been obviously he's very outspoken about you know, this game and how much she supports it we have um cult classic cage who's out there she's out i'm um, supporting the game um because the game is awesome other than the fact that it's a dope female character but the game does look pretty fun and now we have more. And I guarantee you this video is going to really piss off these people. Before I play the video, make sure y'all do me a favor and drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment to engage in conversation. Do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, do me a favor and subscribe to support your boy and get it to 2K subs. I really appreciate you guys' support. And follow me on Twitter, Dante's Rant Room. With all that being said, let's get to work. All right, so here's a video. All right, let's check. Actually, I'm, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Let's play it here. All right, let's go. Oh, it's snap! She's beautiful. This place is dangerous. Take my hand. Let's go. The music is really good. The oh, the music, oh. guys! I almost missed that. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit. <What> <laughs> Wait, 
so you're just showing She's all very of it. Shiny. <laughs> right, oh my God, right away. So okay, okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> I oh, wasn't what an expecting entrance. that. God damn, mommy. Excuse me. Okay, girl. She's stunning. They're all stunning. To be who? He said, they stun, they all stun, they 2B who? <laughs> nah, listen, don't play my girl 2B. She's bad, right? But I feel you, though. They get it, okay? A game can be fun, full of action, a great plot, and whatever the case may be, and have attractive protagonists and antagonists, and could also attract the male gaze and the female gaze. When you have video games, right, that have men with no shirts on, all right? With bulging biceps, triceps, pecs, and six-pack abs. That's not a game that, I mean, that's physique. Yes, us guys don't give a shit, all right? Let's just be real. But girls love that stuff. Girls love it, <laughs> okay? And we don't say nothing. We don't say nothing. But when a girl's in skin-tight clothing, now the world must end. We must stop what we're doing right and <laughs> and then be upset because korea just like nah we need to reset we need to reset let's give the people what they want okay a game that's full of action hopefully a dope ass story and attractive main characters right I, uh, those are the others damn oh it's that's dope. And I, I, I can guarantee you if this video blows up or this video is going viral on Twitter, if it, it, it gets into the wrong hands, these, uh, I don't know, content creators are going to get some heat from, you know, those people. You feel me? And let's, let's, see, let's see some comments, though. All right. Uh, it says, Twitter users, you think this proves us wrong? You found the only five exceptions. You've proven nothing. Women hate Stella Blade like I do because they feel objectified. All other women agree with me exclusively. <laughs> this is funny. Deranged mutants on the internet. I like how they universally approve that explosion pulse scene. The jizzle, the jiggle physics. Hey, yo. Oh, no. <laughs> Jiggle physics are realistic, too. And I think this is one of the girls from the video. And I keep in mind, I don't know these people. I legit don't know who any of the creators are. But listen, I liked their response to that video. This is one of them, maybe. I don't know. And Medina, a.k.a. Shaking, Snacking Way. Sorry. Shout out to my community for telling me I was in this little reaction video. I'm stoked for Stella Blade. That's is dope. I respect it. Let me obviously a lot more comments. Not gonna go through all of this because we'll be here forever. You know how this goes, right? But yeah, this, uh, this game's gonna this game's gonna come out. They're gonna be mad and let them stay mad. Like, like I said, let's, let's go back real quick. All right, back in the day when Bandit first dropped, right? This was like, oh, it's, it's female objectification reality the male gaze this is from 2016 bayonetta the male gaze and agency they came after us in full force because let's face it the game was hot it was hot all right but as soon as they like wait they could take advantage of the game see how quick they flipped the script look at this is from i don't know what is it 2022 now look at now now they love Bayonetta. How Bayonetta, the witch cast a spell on the LGBTQ fans. The action game protagonist had become a queer icon. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> Wait. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? One minute they hate it. It's cool when it's for them, but it's bad when it's for us. You feel me? <laughs> Take notes. Take notes. It's crazy how these guys flip flop so fast. And they think we're going to forget. We're not going to forget. <laughs> no, no, no. This is why I say we can't take these mofos seriously. We just cannot. Okay. All right. And like I said before, it's cool when they do it. Right. For ex I have a good example. Hear me find it. 
Now, this chick right here has been very adamant about her opposition against the male gaze and female objectification and blah, 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 right? But Hades drops. And look at her first comment. Mommy? Sorry. <laughs> and then people called her out for it. And now she is in defense mode. In other words, it's okay when you do it, but it's wrong when we do it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, still Blade's going to drop. It's going to be uncensored, global, hopefully. It's, hope they keep it that way. That's what we're hearing. And let the journalists be upset. Let them be mad. I love it. The reaction from the community is great. Twitter is loving all Stellar Blade content. It looks like it's going to be an awesome and fun game. And I can't, get I can't wait to get my hands on it. But anyway... What do y'all think about this whole situation? You guys know my thoughts. What are yours? Drop them down below in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, do me a favor and subscribe for more content in the anime, manga, gaming, nerdy, culture content. Looking forward to your support. And I'll see y'all in the comment section and in the next video. Later. <laughs>